All right. So now that I have this graph in here, uh, I can answer part A. What was the initial estimate and the estimate after five weeks? So the initial estimate is where t is equal to zero. So this piece is coming straight out of um, the y-intercept. The initial estimate is right here. So if, to answer A number one, the initial estimate is going to be 7,500 grasshoppers. All right, and then for number two, this one's a little bit trickier, the estimate after five weeks. So I can take a look at five weeks, and I can make an approximation based off of this graph, but it's not super precise. So in this instance, I'm actually going to need to go to my calculator. So let's actually um, take a, a pause in using this graph, and let's go back to the calculator and graph the actual function uh, that I'm given here. So I'm going to go to uh, y equals, and now we're, we're going to talk a little bit about how to graph these and how to uh, select the best window uh, and how to basically create the optimal viewing uh, situation for this function. So I'm, I'm typing in this equation just as it's given to me. And right now if I hit graph, uh, I don't see anything. So we have to be a little strategic here about my viewing window. Um, right now the viewing window by default, just from negative 10 to 10 for the x and the y. So I need to create a window that's going to be ideal for this situation. Now, this sometimes might be a daunting task. However, I have spent all this time making a, uh, a window really when I made my graph by hand. I know that my x goes from 0 to 12. And I know that my population, or my y-axis, goes from 4,500 to 10,500. So as long as I use those values, um, that should be fine. And so for my x-min, I like to leave like a little bit of room on either side. So my x-min, I'm actually going to make this a negative one, and my x max, I'll go 13. Uh, for my y min, let's not um, go all the way down to 4,500, let's go down a little bit further. So let's go 4,000 up to my y max, let's go about 500 higher here. So that's 11,000. So I, again, I just like to give myself a little bit of a room on either side. And then once I graph this, now I have a viewing window that will encapsulate this whole picture. Uh, and just as I expect, it should uh, really, it stops right here. This is 12, but I, I took it out a little bit on either side. So now when I want to actually find the estimate after five weeks, I can use the trace function. So that's this button right up here. And, uh, you know, you can kind of trace left or right, but I can actually be a little bit more precise by once I'm in the trace mode, if I just press the number five, that's going to calculate where the function is at x equals five. So this is the value that I'm looking at here. Uh, I'm dealing with grasshoppers, so I'm going to round um, down. And so I'm going to round this to 10,271 grasshoppers. 10,271 grasshoppers. And I think actually for the rest of these problems, I can just use my, my calculator to uh, extract the information from this. So let's take a look at uh, part B. What was the greatest population size over this interval, and when did it occur? Uh, so I can go to again to my graph, and I can I can calculate this. Now I should really know what this is. It is uh, it's the midline plus the amplitude. So I actually know that this is going to be 10,500 grasshoppers. But let's talk quickly about how I can use the calculator to uh, calculate that for me. If I go back to my calculator and I now I go into second calc, I can calculate the maximum, which is what I'm looking for. And the calculate the maximum is going to ask for the left bound. So I want to scroll over to the left of my maximum up here, or to the left of this point. Hit enter. Then it's going to ask me to scroll to the right of my maximum. That's about here. And that way it puts the maximum in between these two points. And then it's going to ask for a guess, and you can kind of help the calculator out, get a little closer. Hit enter. And now it tells me that my maximum is at y equals 10,500. And, and it's actually actually happening at four weeks. Um, so just to confirm, that looks good. 